The need for a new procedure comes because of flaws with the current approach to handling emergencies involving mental health. Of the 3,000 mental health emergencies in 2019, only 25% were severe enough to require a trip to the emergency room. But under the existing protocol, everyone was taken to the emergency room for additional screening. City Council Member Ben Ziff, who used to be a paramedic in Columbus and in Zanesville, says that hospitalizations degrade a patient's mental health instead of helping. They're away from their family, they're away from their friends, and then their mental health would just spiral downwards. The number of patients that I got into physical altercations with because they were angry and would lash out, which, I mean, I never blamed them for that. I mean, I'm, I'm some person here sticking you with a needle, taking your blood, and I'm trying to be as nice as I possibly can and make jokes, and but they're alone in a cold room, and they're having a really, really bad day. And anything that might have been, it's gone. It's all just downhill from here. The new emergency response initiative will have a different protocol. Diane Pfaff, executive director of the 317 board, explains how the new model will operate alongside Hopewell Health Center to serve mental health emergencies in a better way. Here's a mental health clinician with a paramedic. Um, it's a team that can go um, out to the scene where a crisis might be occurring or even to do outreach to um, people who are identified in the community and that there's a concern and to engage with them and um, see what their needs are and um, meet them right on the spot. This approach to helping people on the scene in a more personal way will eliminate a lot of unnecessary hospitalizations. It prevents these gross almost like an overdiagnosis sort of situation. It's, it's way too much resources being devoted to something that could be handled on a way smaller scale. So if we can prevent that from happening to one person, I'm happy. Reporting for Newswatch, I'm Nick Veland in Athens.